Welcome back, guys. Thanks for joining us for another episode. Cheers to another day in the boatyard. Cheers, darling. What do you got there? Well, it's not coffee. It's mud water! As most of you know, we love mud water. This is what mud water looks like. This is the ingredients. It's full of mushrooms. Definitely it's... part of our morning ritual. Oh, it's such a great part of our morning ritual. There's so many great benefits of drinking it. It not only tastes great, but it gives you like clarity in your brain from all the mushrooms. There's like immunity benefits. Coffee right? alternative. It doesn't have the caffeine that a coffee has, so you don't get the jitters. You're not as dependent on it, so there's very little amount in there. So that's how we like to start our day. If you want to give it a try, guys. There is a link on the screen. You can use our code, Catalpa Mud, and you will get a discount. So go check it out. We love mud water. Let's get Sorry. into the day. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. All right, well, we're Kiwi gripping today, guys. We're going to tidy the decks up. We've obviously had a lot of little patches over the deck with uh, water damage and holes drilled in wrong spots and just, uh, yeah, just an overall tidy up of the deck. So we'll cover all that up with Kiwi grip. Uh, we had a little mishap last night. We put the Kiwi grip on really late and we had a massive amount of dew come through. In the morning, it was still wet. Because of the dew, it never set, so we had to wipe it off and start again. This is a before, this is after. We've just got here and the top and down the side to go. And then that's the deck done. And then next, we will be on to the mask. So we finished our deck today, we kiwi gripped our deck, it looks so nice, it's like beautiful and white. So it took us a few days because we had to time it, can't do it in the heat of the day, so you have to either do it like early morning or late in the afternoon, but there was a few days here that it was quite like dewy in the morning, so it was all wet. So we had to do it just sections at a time every morning for the last maybe three or four days. So we finished now and Lee is on the mast. We're back on the mast, getting it ready. And hopefully tomorrow we're going to put our rigging, our standard rigging from Hammer Marine. We're going to put that back on the mast and then look at putting the mast back on the boat. Tomorrow's the day we're going to put all our rigging back on. I still got a few little pieces to go on. This is holds our boom on. Just getting this done this afternoon. We've had like quarter inch bolts that were all pretty much, half of them weren't even really biting in properly they're pretty corroded and worn so I've stepped them up to switch them out for a bigger bolt that being said I have to re-thread them I'm just using a drill tap I've never used these before but this is brilliant put it drills your hole and put your thread on in one go um, I didn't want to put any lubrication on here because I'm putting um, Duralac between here's the bolts I'm tapping they're 516 they were quarter inch and they were corroded and loose and wobbly so some of them weren't even holding and this holds the boom on. Oh first it just drills the hole and then cuts the hole and we drill it back out. Tapped out, ready to go. It takes two seconds. I've seen them, I've always just used the standard tap but that is so quick. We're gonna do it without a dry fit. Yeah, I was about to. I'll just do a little dry fit just for Mama. Dry fit was a success. Yeah. So I just got off the phone to our rigger, which is in PV, Puerto Vallarta. He's a little bit south of us. He obviously flew up, got a bus, come here. 
went over the whole rig, dropped the rig with us, but today we're just on the phone chatting about cables, which I'm about to take you downstairs and we're gonna put those on. But for now, check this out. I'm not gonna be putting these on right away just because we're in the boatyard and we're not sure until they move boats that have stacked behind us out of our road so we can put our mast up. I'll put these on just the day before we do. But look at this. This is our new hammer turnbuckles that we'll be using to secure to our beautiful chain plates that Schaefer Marine has uh, manufactured there. So Hammer, you've got a great base to work with. Let's go get these wires on. What we're gonna do today is just pretty much connect all our cables on and just make double check they're all the right length. Because we don't wanna have one that's out on the day and the crane's here and we lift it up and it's not right. Got all the old cables, I'll just lay them out beside the new ones and say, hey, yep, that's good to go and we'll put them on. Let's go get these cables on so we can get in the water. Hi, Ty. Hi, baby. Our rig came all the way from the land down under. This is the team manufacturing our rig for Catalpa 2 at the Hemmer Manufacturing Facility in Carrara, Queensland. All Hemmer products are exclusively manufactured under strategic quality controls, ensuring unmatched consistency and reliability. This single source manufacturing means every piece of hardware and wire matches the highest standards. This took only three days to be shipped from Australia to the USA, making this global company accessible to yachts all over the world. It's heavy. Okay, huh? How shiny it is. Well, our standing rig is a super important part of keeping us and our boat safe as we continue to sail the world. We are absolutely stoked to be working with Hammer. In 2016, we re-rigged our boat to sail around the world and we actually used the Arcus Wire Group all those years ago. So we are pumped to be working with a brand that we know and that we trust. They've been in business for over 60 years. So what sets Hammer apart from the other brands that are on the market? Well, let's go and ask the man himself, Josh from Hammer. It's a good question because we are a global brand. The main key points are we are single source manufacturing. So we have two main partners. We have Kinsey in Thailand, which is the fittings, and we have Coswire out of South Korea, which is the wire rope, Hammer X and Hammer Pro. We are single source manufacturing. We don't get it from anywhere else. Every time you get Hammer, you're getting quality. Effectively, what you want with Hammer, we give test certificates, we give data, we give traceability, PO numbers on the fittings. Every time you get Hammer, you're getting quality, you can trust it. Where are we putting Hammer? Hammer goes global. We put it out to distributors all around the world, they put it onto boats all around the world. Uh, some of the trusted people that we work with and we, that we've supplied yacht rigs to are the Young Endeavour, which is a uh, Navy tall ship based out of Sydney. Uh, Lisa Blair, who's currently on a journey around Antarctica solo at this point in time, uh, and Sailing Nanji is a previous YouTube family that we've also partnered with. So we're excited to be working with Sailing Catalpa and seeing where this rig takes them. How do you know which one's the new one? This is how you tell, one that's super shiny. How's that one? First one, what does it look like? Looks pretty good. Nice. Just having a rough look at the lengths, whether they're right. Obviously these were, these were set. When we opened them, there was not much room left in them. So these are manufactured and they make them sort of two thirds open. And it's a little difference in adjustment there, which is fine. It all looks good. I'll put these on. Nice. Good news, Hammer did a brilliant job. We didn't doubt him for a second.
uh, all the wires are on the masts. Both of them. And we are truly, truly, sincerely grateful for Hammer Marine to supply those to us. They've come all the way from Australia. Three days it took, I think. It was not long. It was, it was super fast. Quick. And um, this whole process has been very drawn out and it has nothing to do yeah. with any of the people that we are working with. It's all been yeah. us and the, the logistics of being in Mexico. We make it hard for ourselves. We're in the <laughs> middle of the desert, guys. We've got to ship our rigger in. We've got to ship our product in. We're blocked in by both. We can't even stand our mast up at the moment. It's all been a little bit of a challenge and things are taking a lot longer than we anticipated, but yeah. that's okay. It's all a part of the process. Like we said, we're super stoked and so grateful for Hammer and uh, for you guys for believing in us and, and helping us get back on the water and being safe. So this is the second boat that we are rigging with this wire and we're super, super. Great, yeah. thank and you. They, did, they didn't have much of a foundation the uh, first time we put it on. They were connected to our ferro boat, but this time <laughs> they're connected to uh, shape the chain plates into a fiberglass boat. Pat our rigger, go right over all the rig. He's happy with everything. Say a massive thank you to Memo, our rigger who is in Puerto Vallada. Without Memo and without Hammer, I mean, we yeah. could have got these cables and they could have not been right. <laughs> bit of a mission for him. You had to fly to one end of Mexico to the other and then hop on a bus for 10 hours or whatever to get here. And... Yeah, so all of these wires that we got, all the cables that we got, all fit perfectly. Everything so far, yeah. touch wood. They've done touch a good the job. Good, good job there, Memo. Measuring up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to put all the turnbuckles on and all that until we know we're ready to stand the mast again. We've got boats in our road obviously, so wait till we've got a clear run there and we'll put our turnbuckles and that on. So for now we're going to get onto our running rigging. So we're going to put some new lines on thanks to... Precision sails. We've oh. also got all the little pieces like the cleats and so we've still got a winch to go on. Yeah. Some little rolling things for the ropes, what are they called? Yeah, little blocks and bits and pieces. There's a couple of shims that need doing just where um, there's a little bit of deformation. And next episode we will get our Lumitech lights, our spreader lights. They pretty much fitted out with all the bling now. So stay tuned, it's all stay coming tuned. up. It's all coming up and uh, we'll Get this boat back in the we water. Will be in the water. We will be in the water soon. Hopefully only a couple more episodes and we'll be splashing. Yeah. But yeah, thanks and again for everyone hanging All right, in Yeah, there. we are. Once again, like Sarah said, we're truly grateful. We've got a great team of people behind us from Schaefer to Hammer to Precision to Lumatech to everyone that's jumped on board to uh, get us back yeah. in the water and out doing what we love doing. It's not in the boatyard, guys. It's yeah. out there. It's so true. <laughs> that's it. We've been here too long. So yeah, like Lee said, massive thank you to all the companies that have believed in us. Yeah. Guys are legends. All right, all let's right. get back in the Stay water. Stay tuned. Get into it, darling. <laughs> Well, that's the end of another episode. Thank you for watching and thank you for joining us. Just before you go, we have something very exciting. Our website, Traveling Shells, is back online and we are doing our final drop before we leave here. We have less than 20 pairs of these handmade beautiful little shell earrings left. These are the last of them. There is no more after these sell out. We do not have anymore. They have been collected on tiny little remote islands in Indonesia and handmade by Bella and I on board Catalpa. If you are interested in grabbing a pair for your daughter or your granddaughter or someone, a friend that loves the ocean, these are a perfect little Christmas gift. So the link is up on the screen. Check them out and go see what's left and grab a pair before they're all gone. All right, guys, we love you. Thanks for watching. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh my god, I got it. <laughs> Murray Ty! We're filming, bud! Oh. <gasps> Can you please not bump the camera while we're filming? Murray Ty? Yes. You. Can you please not bump the camera while we're filming? Hello, Menace. Turn off the camera! Oh, it's high no! <laughs> he makes it very difficult.